The gathering calls on government and development partners to support integrated early child development. The First Lady of Namibia, Monica Genkos, focused on teenage pregnancies, saying the most powerful poverty eradication tool is birth control. So, what is the biggest and most powerful poverty eradication tool? What is it? Education. It's contraceptives. If I earn a thousand dollars, if I earn a thousand dollars, the PS here earns a thousand dollars, but I have two children, and she has six. Which of the two of us are wealthier? <laughs> Contraceptives. We also can't plan for enough classrooms if we don't know what we're planning for. So when we look at these teenage pregnancy statistics, when we look at the number of children that are unplanned, you see it in our numbers when it comes to providing sufficient infrastructure. We must have this discussion. The other discussion we must have is that we need to really make policy within the context of recognizing that we're a post-conflict society. As many of you know, in the Bavaria, elections were supervised by the United Nations. That's normally quite a hint that this is a post-conflict society. But when we do our policy planning, we do it with the assumption that everything's okay. Any post-conflict society has the kind of social issues that we have. It's typical of post-conflict societies. The research is there. High levels of violence in general, particularly gender-based violence, particularly sexual assault, alcohol abuse, dysfunctional families, fatherlessness. This is all typical of post-conflict societies. So we must integrate that. A lot of the programs that we run as the Office of the First Lady and the One Economy Foundation, we no longer assume we are dealing with children who are functional. We run our programs on the assumption there's dysfunction somewhere. Also at the conference, the Health and Social Services Minister Bennett Haufiku highlighted the importance of educating the youth on planned parenthood. That kind of lack of planning, lack of, you know, is what leads to all the miseries that we're having today. Because if you give this young girl an education, you actually empower her to be able to plan when and how and where to start a family. And I personally believe, I never started one, but I have supported many, but I believe that if that planning goes on as is, you know, according to plan, then we have less of the problem for which we are sitting here today. We will have less unplanned, unwanted pregnancies. We will have less baby dumping. We will have less of this problem of people basically not even aware that at the age before five, this child need to be in the early child development program. A national integrated early child development strategic framework is expected to be launched at the conference.